everyone welcome back so it is a hot and sunny day but we are outside anyways so today I am going to be cleaning up a little bit of our herbs but I'm also going to be cleaning up our onions so I don't know if you notice but we planted our onions under this awning here and they're constantly trying to reach for the Sun so a lot of them are almost flopping over now usually when an onion flops over it's time to pick it and you're picking it but these aren't ready to pick yet so I am going to do some trimming of our onion tops today now I'm not necessarily pro trimming your onions or pro not trimming your onions I don't think it really much matters but you have to just do what's best for the plant so right now I can see all of these need to do something because they're constantly reaching and I want them to be able to reach the sun and get it but at the same time they're pushing other onions over they're flopping over so I'm gonna do a good trimming and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with these onion tops I've got quite a few weeds in here too so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of weeding as long as I'm in here because um, I don't want to accidentally like this is a piece of grass but it's just as tall as our onions I don't want to accidentally pick one of those by mistake Now I'm not overly cutting them because I don't need them super short. I'm just trying to keep them healthy. I know I didn't get them all, but this entire colander full of onion tops are going to be food that we otherwise wouldn't use. So I trimmed these up. I think they look a lot happier, a lot healthier. They're definitely going to be uh, focusing on bulbs a little more. I did a little bit of weeding in here. I know I could do a lot more, but it's hot. So I'm going to go inside and I will show you what we're doing with these. Before we go in I do want to show you this other onion bed um, so you can see just the difference in these onions now these ones are planted in a different spot where they're getting full Sun all these onions are happy coming straight up I probably won't be really anxious to trim these I've got other things as far as um, onions for eating that I don't need these I do see some of my second year onions on the bottom are starting to kind of get heavy and flop over but those are second year onions which are planted specifically for saving seed so if I cut the tops off I'm completely ruining the point of trying to grow some seed so I'm up in the kitchen I've got my green onion tops and I'm gonna show you the way I like to preserve these best Obviously, I'll probably use some this week, so I will cut up and put some in the fridge. But there are two other ways I like to preserve them. One is dehydrating them. And when I dehydrate them, I sometimes will just leave them in small chunks, dehydrate them. And then when I have time, I'll grind them up and make kind of like an onion powder. Now, it makes kind of like a green onion powder, and it's a little bit lighter flavor than your typical onion powder, but it's still a great way to use them. Otherwise, I simply freeze them and that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna get these all washed up and clean I'll let them soak for a little bit chop them up and they're just going in the freezer in the sink with some water and some vinegar and then I just put some plates to try to hold them under the water a little bit but I'm just gonna let them soak for a little bit while I'm cleaning up things around the house 
and that way if there's anything in there kind of yucky hopefully it comes out now typically when I'm washing vegetables I'll either use just vinegar or sometimes if I've noticed there's a lot of aphids or bugs or ants or things on it I'll add some baking soda to kind of get those bugs out I'm not going to add that because then it's just more washing I have to do and I didn't really notice any bugs on the onion tops green onions my onion tops to lay them out to dry after I've washed them every time I see an end that's just kind of going bad I'll just take it and then I will plop it off um, these are looking pretty good though there were a few little bugs on them I noticed but hardly anything so kind of like I thought So I'm going to let these dry for a while, just get most of the water out. I did try as I was um, rinsing them to kind of squeeze out as much water as I could because when they're soaking, water can get in there. And I rinsed them again because I don't want them to taste like pure vinegar. So all that's left is to chop them up. I'm going to flash freeze them, which just means put them on a baking sheet. Usually I use a piece of parchment or I use like a silicone baking mat, leave them in the freezer for a little bit, and then dump them in a freezer bag in the freezer. I usually do not do anything really special with them because I want to be able to just grab in there and use them um, like I would fresh green onions. So it tends to work really good in the winter time when I don't have fresh green onions and it keeps me from buying those at the store. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and glad you got to see me again. Bye.